coffee in hand always hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video and today we've got a video which i feel like a lot of you are gonna love because it's been a while since i've hit the charity shops gone secondhand shopping i did almost contemplate maybe putting in an order on depop or ebay or something like that but you know what i think i'm just gonna go hit the shops today bring you guys with me see what we can find i've got a list of things that i'm keeping my eyes peeled for oh my god this coffee it's just the best it's one of those starbucks chilled you know you can get from the supermarket the chilled drinks they do a bigger version now the caramel macchiato so this is what I'm drinking today. I'm thinking of going to an antique place first, which is, uh, it's near Stockport. It's called the Vintage Emporium, I think it's called. That's more of like an antiques place, which isn't necessarily cheap, like not like bargain bargains, but I do find that antique places have some beautiful furniture items, some standout pieces, quite a lot of antique brass, which is definitely something that I want to incorporate within this home in keeping with the Edwardian theme of this property. If you're new to my channel, firstly, hello, welcome. We are renovating our house currently. We have builders downstairs as we speak. Upstairs is done, bar a few little snagging things. But apart from that, upstairs is done. Downstairs is yet to be done. It's currently being done hopefully before christmas will be done our aim is october we'll see how close we get to that but uh yeah so we're extending our property we're also renovating the basement currently so i've got lots of shopping to be doing the fact that i'm a confessed shopaholic and the fact that i'm renovating our house with a load of space to be able to start styling up is just it's a win-win, it's the perfect formula. So I'm looking for things that are antique brass and um, also I've mentioned on my channel before in what will be our dining room area, I'm thinking of having bookshelves styled up to be a bit of a theme of games and puzzles and you know, like really nice wooden puzzles or a really nice chess board, something like that, like a real antique find of one of them would be amazing. So. I've got my eyes peeled for them, but my hope's not up for them. We'll see how, how lucky I get with that. What else am I looking for? I do have a bit of a list just so I can kind of stick to the list. Oh yeah, the other thing on my list are old books. So again, mainly for styling purposes, I think really rustic vintage old books, like the older the better, I think can look really nice, especially if you've got like a nice binder to have that on show. And um, failing that, I think it's a really nice styling tip to be able to pop books, hardcover only, books kind of stacked up and then turn them around so you can just see the pages, especially if you have a bit of a theme of neutral running throughout your house like I do, then obviously you've not got like a garishly looking bright pink and blue on display. And then of course another tip, hard backed books with a cover, you can flip the cover so it's white on the inside, put that on the outside and then it's like all gonna be white stacked books. So anyway, they are the things on my list of things I'm keeping my eyes peeled for and of course bargains because always on the hunt for bargains. And speaking of bargains, we do have a sponsor for today's video. A very kindly Cherries have partnered with me on today's video. If you've never heard of Cherries before, ugh, I'm about to share with you exactly what it is. But I'm sure regular viewers will know what it is because I rave about it all the time. I'm gonna just screen record my phone and show you exactly what it is on my actual phone. So once you've opened up the app, you've got this kind of main home page with lots of like areas. If you wanted to have a look, you can see here, there's the new this week. I always check out this section just because I think you can find some amazing new finds and the best things tend to go quick so you have to be quick then another section that i like to look at a lot is the homeware section where they've got some lovely new items if i share with you here on my account i do have team buying and you can see here that i've got three and a half hours to be able to pop in an order and earn five percent cherries cash let's see if anyone can spot their name here 
anyone spot their names? I will leave a link in the description box where you can get cherries and there's a discount code as well in fact there's two because if you're brand new to cherries you can get 25% off your first order with the code freya25 and free shipping and if you are already an existing customer then you can still benefit from that free shipping with the discount code freya free happy shopping guys let me know what you pick up i'm going to share with you now some of the items that i've picked up also can you see in the background here big h&m box that's hopefully my video coming next. So stay tuned for that. Ooh, these boxes are way too heavy for me to be able to have them nicely in frame. First things first, Easter category. I demolished the Easter category because Easter chocolate's my fave. So I did pick up some Easter eggs. I got this one for myself. Why not treat myself? Some amazing brands on cherries. Thornton's white chocolate bunny Easter egg. And then I bought these, which I'm thinking um, we'll probably give to Tom's nieces. These little unicorn Easter eggs. And some Maltese mini bunnies. These are so yum. Perfect for with a coffee in an afternoon. Gold bars. Mr. Kipling's two sticky toffee sponge puddings. All of these items are so affordable. Cherries is known for its affordability. Bargain love out there who like the homeware bargain shops but want to shop from the comfort of your own home then cherries is the place to do that i also got some tomato and ricotta pesto loads of kitchen roll i got five of these i saw this and thought it was going to be perfect for outside hanging up socks in particular or underwear i think they'll just be so easy for just that quick in between cleaning so for windows in particular or mirrors like in here for instance this big window mirror one in a bathroom one in the bedroom so that i can always have them to hand five in one household wipes antibacterial i got this for in my car just to be able to have my phone accessible always get my bin bags from cherries as well these are um really good if you are a pet owner like me the especially a golden retriever owner like me these are vamoosh pet hair dissolvers and then i also got some treats for him as well and also from the pet section i got these licky mats they're called these lick treat mats which you can just pop like wet dog food on paste peanut butter mushed up banana freeze it as well if you want it to last longer then i also got this for my car this is a yankee candle it's in the scent new car scent which isn't that the best when you have a fresh valet or a fresh buy a fresh new car and it's got that smell it's honestly just amazing so yankee candle do it in a little car air freshener then i also got a load of these sticker hooks some tea lights these are really good because they are eight hour burn time oh i also got another one for tom's car because he actually does have a new car then i got these for the house these febreze and be pure plugins i have a couple already but i thought i would grab a couple more and then i saw this scent which is one of my favorite from the lenore unstoppables this lavish scent toothpaste to soak redox therapy bath salts little reminiscent of maybe like a h&m home or a zara home thing it's like the kind of donut round circle vase type thing so i got this one in black but i also picked up just to show you the fact that they do it in white as well. So let me know which you prefer. Do you prefer the black or the white? Then they also have some beautiful line drawings. They come framed and they come with the little pass too. I thought they'd look nice side by side actually. Another roll of this plain brown craft paper. I like to use this for wrapping presents. I also picked up, I'm realizing this is quite a pet heavy haul actually. I also picked up two blankets again. Barney will keep one and I'll give one to my brother and his girlfriend for their new pooch. And then I also got this, which I just... I think they'll love it but it's one of these little donut beds they had this in black i think they had it in a darker gray as well their dog's a small breed so it'll just look so cozy and cute in there i also got two of these 40 pocket a4 display books these are just going to be really good for keeping my like paperwork and receipts and keeping organized a front door mat i'm actually going to pop this on the outside of our house outside of our front door just because with us having builders in and everything, it's getting a very muddy out there. And then I also got a seat protector in the car. Again, if you've got a dog, these are great for that. And then I also got this, keeps him occupied for a bit. You can just pop little treats within them. And then last but not least, I got two of these silhouette vases, which I've talked about before. I think I've got one actually down in our like storage room. 
but these are a different shape to the one that I've got downstairs and I thought they looked lovely. If you've seen them before, they're just very minimal in design, very kind of Scandi style. You can pop either like a sprig of eucalyptus in, you could pop like a little candle at the bottom. That is everything that I have picked up from Cherries. I was deliberating whether or not to curl my hair and actually make an effort. But to be honest with you, it's quite warm out today, so I feel like hair up is the way to go. Let's get our shop on. I'm honestly so excited. I feel like it's been so long since I've been secondhand shopping. The main place that I'm going to are the Vintage Emporium in Stockport, probably Didsbury. I'm going to go to a few charity shops in Didsbury, I think, and then that might be it. So yeah, let's get on the road. Well, let's finish my coffee first. <laughs> Priorities. And then I'll deal with putting the cherries bits away later on. That's always something that I end up doing. I just film a haul video and then I'm just like, see ya. <laughs> I'll worry about putting you guys away later. Can you hear the builders? So much going on right now. Look at this, window open, what an absolute treat. Also other top tip just before we set off, always take a little tote. I've got my girl Amuse tote bag today. And look, I've got my little um, contraption here, which is, pretty cool so it just fits perfectly onto my vent that i just got from cherries and then we can pop this on as well my little yankee candle smelly oh my god oh, that smells so good treat myself to let me just put the windows down wow it is definitely spring it's lovely anyway yeah i tried this this is a strawberry acai it's got a bit of a fizz to it i think <laughs> mm. it's hard to drink though because the strawberries get stuck mmm sweet I was after a cool lime refresher they didn't have any lime yet and before I went past Starbucks grab myself Greg sausage roll after a very successful morning I am so happy with everything that I got I've got a couple more shops that I want to head to before um, heading back home mmm I was actually, I'm planning on meeting some friends to do some antique shopping today, but plans changed. And I thought, well, I'm still gonna get out and still go. Um, but to be honest with you, I think I've got a bite on my eyebrow. It's really itchy. <laughs> really random place to get a bite. Um, but to be honest, with you, I quite like a solo shopping trip. I feel like you can go at your own pace. You're not holding anyone up. No one's holding you up. You can go where you want, when you want. But anyway, I'm gonna eat this. Head to a few more shops then head back home I do actually have one item which I spotted a while ago now um I did a little DIY on so I'm going to include that within today's video because that's one of my favorite recent purchases that I found in a charity shop I know it's nothing new but it's so good to see you Do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two.
successful shopping trip incoming. I have just got back to a pretty hectic house. So if you can hear any building noise going on in the background, just please do excuse. Um, so I am going to start, oh gosh, where do I start? In fact, I'll start with my little DIY project that I did. So I found this recipe box. It didn't look like this beforehand. I've essentially painted over it and popped a little Dymo label on here. So this beforehand, it was from Oxfam at £2.99 and it was originally from Paper Chase and it is essentially just a little box which had a load of recipe cards in, which I obviously wasn't a fan of the pink floral green design. So. I bought a little sample paint pot. It was actually a Farron Bull one. So I painted it with two layers of skimming stone. I have just spotted a tiny bit of pink underneath here. So I'm gonna just repaint over that bit. But this is what the box now looks like. It is nice and neutral. I was gonna do it in black, but I'm actually quite glad I did it in this color. And then I used the Dymo label printer to print out recipes, which I stuck to the front. These were the recipe cards that came with it. Again, very colorful. <laughs> not very my style, um, but I quite liked the idea that there are, um, I mean, there's loads of cards that haven't been used, but there are some recipes in here that the previous owner, whoever it may be, has written out. So um, I have purchased some more recipe cards, which I'll show you in a second in line with my decor and to go with this box. But I am going to um, include these original recipes that have been written out by the previous owner because I think that's like a fun idea like I don't know it's the mystery behind the previous owner I think that's what I quite enjoy about secondhand shopping is you're kind of repurposing and giving something a brand new life even if it looks completely different and you do a bit of a DIY to it but then I ordered these uh, new recipe cards off Etsy and I love the look of them. They're from a brand called Melcom, but they, to be fair, Etsy had loads of templates and loads of different uh, recipe card designs that you can just print off yourself from literally just a pound or two. So, and then obviously you can print off as many as you like on whatever paper you'd like. But these are the ones that I went for. I'll show you them a bit closer up. Let me just remove this just so you can see what the recipe cards actually look like. So this is the front of the design. Now you can mention whether or not it's vegan or vegetarian, the different allergens in there, prep time, cook time, the ingredients. And then on the reverse of the card is essentially a big blank space for you to pop the directions and any notes as well. So I loved this design, but like I said, there are loads to choose from on there. So this is my first purchase and my first little DIY, my new recipe card and box. Let me know what you think of that. Okay, now let's move on to the Vintage Emporium. I did manage to stick with my initial idea of finding some antiqued brass items, of which this first one is a, a little water dispenser thing so that you can just spray out some water to water plants. To be honest with you, I'm not even sure it works or it might just need oiling but I bought it for decorative purposes. So again, styled up on a bookshelf, maybe even next to some plants. I thought it'd look quite nice styled up and that kind of antiqued look, I just much prefer to a real yellowy gold. So that is my first little item. This one was nine pounds. They also wrapped everything up individually for me so that there was no damages, no breakage in the car. And yeah, this next item, again, keeping in theme with the antique brass, it's a set of two candlesticks. They actually had loads of brass candlesticks, all at different price points, because I think within there, they have sort of different stalls and different sections that are maybe individually owned, I think. In a similar way, I suppose, as like little concessions within Vintage Emporium. So they're all sort of priced differently. Like I said, I saw some brass candlesticks that were quite a bit more expensive than these two. These were six pounds for the pair. So at three pounds each, I thought they were, um, a bargain to be honest with you and they are brass they're heavy they're really good quality for three pounds each i thought they were a steal that i had to pick up could not resist them the last of the antique brass items i got was this now it's a poker stand so you can pop this in front of your fire we're hoping to have a really nice log burner in the front room eventually and i do have a 
I think, unless if it's got lost in the move, a like poker set in black that I got from Home Bargains. But to have this little poker stand sat there, which you can, whilst you've got the fire lit, use it. And also the fact that it is a beautifully antiqued piece. Very distressed, but in my opinion, the more distressed, the better. So this one was £9.50. It's honestly so heavy and I absolutely love that one. So that is all the antique brass type items that I got. I did also mention I was looking out for old aged books again to style up and especially with like nice um, binders. So I found this one. It's called Mr. Prohack by Arnold Bennett. No idea what it's about, but um, this is what sold it to me, the binder. The fact that it's exposed, really distressed, it was only two quid and they probably just wanted rid of it because it's like an old disheveled book. One man's trash is definitely another man's treasure because I love this. I think that will look beautiful styled up on a bookshelf. So I might as well stick with the other books that I got. I got two more books. The first one is from a place called Beechwood Cancer Care Charity Shop and it was £1.50 and it's the National Geographic Book of Dogs, the Members Edition. Again, for more than anything for styling purposes. I loved the binder, the color of this, the gold part to it. I actually quite like adding green accents, but this not only looks the part, it was also a bargain at £1.50, and it's about dogs, which is my first love. I feel above anything else. I'm a dog lover. Then the other book that I got is from Oxfam and I kind of thought this was pricey but I did love it for its aesthetic and its look. So it's got this on the top. I'm not even going to try and decipher what this means or is. On the side, again, I loved the binder of this. It says, not a cornfield and it's like embossed so it's textured it's lovely and it is a book well a set of two photographs and maps and essays and timelines so it's almost like it looks like a kind of study of some kind there's all the photographs i just thought it was quite interesting yeah i think it's just a set of essays and documentation on land located between Lincoln Heights and Chinatown in LA, California. More than anything, I liked it for its look. It was 9 99 Yeah, that's the only thing I'm gonna say about that. It was a little bit pricey because considering it's not a book that I'm necessarily gonna sit and read. Next up, I have an item from, where was this from? RSPCA and it's a vase in a very unusual shape. So it kind of reminded me of a um, angular version of the donut vase that H&M do, that round one. And I actually prefer the rectangular shape to it. I am thinking potentially about DIYing this just to elevate it slightly and DIY it with the remainder of my Farron Ball paint mixed up with some, is it baking soda that people have been using to make a real textured effect? It's a DIY that I've seen a lot around and I definitely wanna try myself. I was just looking for the right vase to do it with. And I do think this is, it's nice as it is, but it's pretty basic. I feel like it's something that you could just get quite cheap. I did get it quite cheap at 2 dollars but with the textured element, like I said, it just elevates it a bit more to more of a designer look. So I'm going to try that, but 2 dollars for that one. And then my last purchase to share with you is from, this is St. Anne's Hospice. I got this. It was £15. Most expensive purchase. I think it was. And it is a set of old Salter weighing scales so you've got the weighing bowl the actual bowl that you can pop your products in and then on here you've got this little dish which you pop the weights on so it's very old school whether or not i use it as a weighing apparatus i don't know you've got all the weights that she bagged up for me here i just loved the look of it i loved the color of it so 15 pounds yes pricey but actually i think it's a steal so I'm really, really happy with that purchase. Of all of them, it's probably one of my favorites. That and my little DIY recipe box that I've done with my recipe cards, which I'm going to write some out today. So 
that is everything that I picked up. I hope you enjoyed coming with me on my little shopping trip out and about and discovering some treasures. Let me know which was your favorite item that I picked up. And of course, as always, thank you to Cherries for very kindly working with me again. Don't forget to take advantage of those discount codes. Thanks to you guys for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next one. Bye guys.